Like the final brush strokes on a masterpiece, December carries the weight of the entire year. It is a month where seeds sown in faith can blossom into divine harvest. It is a season where the hand of God moves swiftly, where prayers long whispered in the shadows can burst forth into glorious answers. As the curtain draws on another year, December stands as a final chapter brimming with God's goodness. Perhaps your heart feels heavy, weighed down by victories yet to be seen. Maybe you feel like time is slipping away and the dreams you held at the start of the year are still out of reach. Let me assure you, God's timing is perfect and His power knows no limits. This very December, God shall turn your mourning into dancing and your waiting into rejoicing. This is not the end of your story, it is the turning point. So do you long for blessings that overflow and breakthroughs that defy human understanding? Stay with me as I pray with you a powerful prayer that will unlock God's blessings, breakthroughs, and miracles over your life. Play this prayer daily throughout December and watch as God's mighty hand transforms your life. Make sure to subscribe to this channel for more powerful prayers like this. Let us press into His presence together and end this year victoriously. As we step into the final chapter of this year, many of us find ourselves in a place of deep reflection and anticipation. The month of December holds a special significance. It is a month of completion and preparation, a bridge between the ending of one season and the beginning of another. For many, it is a season of joy and gratitude, but for others, it may bring a sense of urgency or even weariness. You might find yourself looking back and asking, have I accomplished all that I hoped for this year? Or perhaps you are looking forward, wondering if the prayers you started this year with will find their answers before it ends. Let me remind you, God is not finished with you yet. He is the Alpha and the Omega, the one who writes the beginning and the end. What seems unfinished in your life is still unfolding in His perfect plan. In Genesis chapter 12, verses 2 and 3, God made a life-changing promise to Abraham. I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you I will curse, and all peoples on earth will be blessed through you. This was not just a promise for Abraham. Through Jesus Christ it is a promise for you too. God's desire is to bless you, not just for your own sake, but so that your life becomes a channel of blessings for others. God's intention is to bless you so abundantly that they overflow to your family, your community, and even generations to come. But blessings require faith, just as Abraham stepped out in obedience. Are you ready to trust God for more? Are you ready to step out, to believe, and to receive? The journey to blessing and breakthrough often comes with challenges. In 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse 8, David found himself at a breaking point. His family and possessions had been taken by the enemy, and his men were on the verge of turning against him. Um, but David did something remarkable. He turned to God and asked, Shall I pursue this raiding party? Will I overtake them? And the Lord answered, Pursue them. You will certainly overtake them and succeed in the rescue. This is such a powerful reminder for you. Whatever loss, disappointment, or challenge you have faced, this year God sees it. He doesn't just see your pain. He has a plan to restore and redeem what has been taken from you. Just as David received divine guidance to recover all, God is ready to guide you, but here's the key. You must turn to Him. When was the last time you sought His direction with all your heart? December is not the time to give up. It is the time to press in. As you approach the end of this year, bring every unresolved situation before God. Ask Him for clarity, restoration, and victory. In Isaiah chapter 43, verse 19, God declares, See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up, do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. This is God's promise to you. Whatever wilderness you have walked through this year, God will bring streams of provision and refreshment. 
Do you feel like doors have been shut, he can open them? Do you feel like you have been walking through a barren season, he can bring life and abundance in ways you never imagined? And then there's the beautiful promise in Psalm 65 verse 11, you crown the year with your bounty and your carts overflow with abundance. This is God's intention for you. He wants to crown this year not with scarcity or regret, but with his goodness and abundance. Not because of what you've done, but because of who he is, faithful, loving, and merciful. And finally, let us hold on to the truth of Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 8. Better is the end of a thing than its beginning. No matter how this year began for you, God can make its ending better. He can turn your mourning into dancing, your sorrow into joy, and your lack into overflow. So as you prepare your heart for this prayer, I want to speak directly to you. Open your heart wide. Lay down every burden at his feet, every disappointment, every unanswered question, every dream you're still holding on to. Let December be a month of surrender, faith, and expectation. Trust him to do what only he can do. Beloved, this is your moment to connect with God. Stay with me until the end of this prayer. Pray along with me every day this December. Watch as God moves in your life, as his blessings overflow and his breakthroughs come forth. And if this prayer touches your heart, subscribe to this channel and share it with someone who needs God's touch. Now, with hearts full of faith, let us go boldly before the throne of grace. In the victorious and powerful name of Jesus, we pray. Eternal God, we approach your throne with deep awe and reverence, for you alone are worthy of all glory and praise. You are the sovereign Lord, the creator of the heavens and the earth, the one who was, who is, and who is to come. We call you the rock of ages, the everlasting and unchanging God. We exalt your holy name, for you are our redeemer our fortress, our shepherd, and our shield. In your presence there is fullness of joy, and at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. We magnify you, Lord, for your steadfast love never ceases, and your compassions never fail. Great is your faithfulness, O God. Day by day you sustain us with your grace and cover us with your mercy. No one compares to you, Lord and no one can stand against you. When you speak, it is done. When you command, everything obeys. Your word is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, and it never returns void. You are the most supreme God, the light of the world, the fountain of living waters, and the author and finisher of our faith. We bow before you in humility, acknowledging that without you, we are nothing. Dearest Father, we thank you for the gift of life, for the breath in our lungs, and for the strength in our bodies. Thank you for sustaining us throughout the year, for carrying us through challenges, and for surrounding us with your love. You have been our ever-present help, our constant guide, and our faithful friend. We owe everything to you, Lord, and we give you all the glory, honor, and praise. Today we come before you with hearts full of expectation, knowing that you are able to do exceedingly, abundantly above all we can ask or imagine. As we draw closer to the end of this year, Lord, we reflect on your goodness and mercy that have followed us every single day. You have been our shield, our provider, and our Comforter. Today, Lord, we pour out our hearts in prayer, asking you to finish this year with a mighty outpouring of your blessings, breakthroughs, and miracles. Lord, we ask for the manifestation of your promises in our lives. Every word you have spoken over us, every plan you have written in the book of our lives, Father, let them come to fruition in this season. You are not a man that you should lie, nor the son of man that you should repent. Your word is forever settled in heaven. And we stand on your promises, Lord, believing that you will bring them to pass. In this very month of December, 
we ask for your presence to go before us. We surrender our hearts, our plans, and our desires to you. We ask that you take complete control of every aspect of our lives. Father, we pray for your blessings to overflow in our lives. Bless our homes with peace and unity. Bless the work of our hands with fruitfulness and success. Bless our families with health and protection. Lord, let us be carriers of your blessing to others. May our lives reflect your glory and draw others closer to you. Lord, we cry out for divine breakthroughs in every area of our lives. For those battling sickness, we ask for your healing touch. For those facing financial struggles, we ask for provision and abundance. For those seeking direction, we ask for clarity and wisdom. Father, we know that nothing is impossible for you. As we pray, Lord, we ask for restoration. For every loss we have suffered in the previous months, restore it in double folds. Restore broken relationships. Restore lost opportunities. Restore our finances. Restore joy, peace, and hope in our hearts. You are the God who makes all things new, and we trust you to bring beauty out of every situation. Father, as this year ends, we ask you to crown it with your goodness. Let this December be a month of testimonies, a month of answered prayers, and a month of your glory revealed in our lives. Surround us with your favor like a shield, and protect us from every scheme of the enemy. Lord, we bring every aspect of our lives before your throne. We know you are the God who begins and completes all things in perfect time. We ask that you complete every good work you have started in us. In Philippians chapter 1, verse 6, your word declares that you who began a good work in us will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. So, Lord, we stand on this promise and ask that you bring every unfinished project every lingering prayer and every hope you have planted in our hearts to fulfillment. Let there be no delays or obstructions, Lord. May this month be one of divine completion and fulfillment. Lord, we prophesy into the month of December. We declare that this month will align with your plans and purposes for our lives. We decree that everything about this month will work together for our good just as your word says. We speak favor over every day, every hour, and every moment of this month. Let December be filled with opportunities, blessings, and breakthroughs that exceed all we could ask for or imagine. Father, we call forth divine alignment in the spiritual and natural realms. Let the heavens be open over us, pouring out blessings that we cannot contain. Let the earth yield its increase to us, and let all creation work in harmony with your will for our lives. We declare that December will be a month of joy, peace, and prosperity. Lord, we ask for supernatural strength and wisdom as we prepare to step into a new year. Help us to reflect on the lessons of the past months and carry forward the faith, resilience, and hope you have cultivated within us. Guide our decisions, guard our hearts, and renew our spirits, so we may enter the new year with clarity and purpose. We pray for divine connections and appointments, Father. Bring the right people into our lives, those who will uplift, inspire, and guide us closer to your will. Remove every relationship, habit, or distraction that may hinder us from fulfilling your plan. Surround us with your favor, Lord, and let your peace rule in our hearts. Father, we commit our families into your hands. We ask for unity, love, and protection in our homes. Bind us together with cords of love that cannot be broken. Provide for every need and bless each family member according to your riches in glory. Let there be laughter, joy, and peace in our households this December. Lord, we lift up the works of our hands to you, 
bless our businesses, careers, and endeavors. Cause us to be fruitful and multiply in every area of our lives. Open doors that no man can shut and let your anointing rest upon all that we do. Give us creative ideas, solutions to challenges, and the courage to pursue the opportunities you place before us. We pray for healing, Lord, for those who are sick in body, mind, or spirit. Every sickness that has lasted through the previous months, by the power in the blood of Jesus, we command such sickness to vanish right now in the name of Jesus. To every sick person under the sound of my voice, I want you to know that if the Son shall set you free, you shall be free indeed. Today, I declare you free. Free from sicknesses, free from diseases. By the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. The Lord has made you whole. Let this month be a season of testimonies for miraculous healings. Restore health, Father, and give us the strength to walk in your purpose with vitality and vigor. We pray for peace, Lord. In a world full of chaos and uncertainty, let your peace reign in our hearts and minds. Silence every voice of fear and anxiety and fill us with the assurance that you are in control. Let your peace guide our thoughts, decisions, and actions so that we may walk in the confidence of your love. Father, we ask for a deeper intimacy with you in this season. Draw us closer to your heart and let our relationship with you be our greatest treasure. Teach us to hear your voice more clearly and to follow you without hesitation. Let this month be one of spiritual growth, where we come to know you in new and profound ways. Lord, we pray for favor and grace in all our endeavors. Go before us and make every crooked path straight. Let December be a month of open heavens, where every prayer we utter aligns with your will and brings forth miraculous answers. We also pray for the nations of the world. Let there be peace, justice, and healing across the earth. Comfort those who are grieving, provide for those in need, and bring revival to your people. Use us, Lord, as instruments of your grace and agents of change in our communities. Finally, Father, we lift up the plans for the coming year. We lay our hopes, dreams, and ambitions at your feet, asking that you bless and direct them. Pour out your blessings upon us in ways we cannot contain. Prepare us for greater things, Lord, and equip us to walk boldly into the future you have for us. Our hearts are at peace, knowing that you will lead us into a new year filled with your blessings, breakthroughs, and miracles. Let your will be done in our lives, Lord, on earth as it is in heaven. We honor you, Lord, for you are the giver of all good things. Thank you for your faithfulness in the past, your provision in the present, and the hope you give us for the future. We trust you completely, knowing that you are working all things together for our good. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for listening and answering our prayer. In the precious and powerful name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, I declare these blessings upon you. Type praise Jesus below if this prayer blessed you. Remember to subscribe. To God be all the glory. May his grace and peace be with you.